So it's taken me many years to get to this point where the pain I was experiencing that went down my neck and on my shoulders has finally subsided in the strangest of realizations. I had the strangest revelation today that if I go like this for TMJ, it does something to my the neck area over here. And it releases the the tension that was excruciating that radiates down my arm into the nerve from my brachial plexus. And um, I put garlic inside my ear. And by putting garlic inside my ears, I felt that the, whatever kind of virus that was inside causing the TMJ go out of me. And I felt like... Uh, the strangest uh, sensation. I disinfected everything here, and I killed a whole bunch of mice. I haven't seen any come back as of yet. Um, it's been about a day that I've seen any mice. Um, but I got two fresh traps out, baited, and the house disinfected. So I'm going to uh, just uh, keep my fingers crossed because all I need to do is go like this. I didn't need like a shot of Toradol or anti-inflammatory, although the uh, CBD has been helping me tremendously as well. Um, and I found that for 35 bucks plus tax, um, you can get 500 milligrams of CBD in these things. It's a good deal. Anyway, oh, and these... Um, this is this is a good deal too. Uh, I highly recommend these. They have uh, something called now CBG. CBG, folks. <laughs> CBG. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even. It's great. I, I the dude goes, yeah, it's for energy. Uh, Holly, you'll love it. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, does the body good? All right. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'm on the men kind of. It's so weird, my, my neck for six, seven years has been in solid fucking agony. You know what I throw at it? Apparently that's the way to fix it. What the fuck, dude? Oh. But, hope you liked my Toradol video. And, you know, it's funny what Clint Eason said because it's so true that your true wealth is the luxury of having your family, having your parents. But also... On the flip side of that, it's easier for him to say because for some folks, yeah, that's a luxury to have your, your loved ones nearby, but luxury is being able to afford the time to be with them. A lot of people, like my wife, have to be with her whole family, leaving her home, only son behind in another country, a thousand miles away across the ocean, because she doesn't have the luxury of being with them. They depend on her income, and, and she has had to come here and, and leave the family behind with a lot of people have immigrated to have been able to go back and see their family in many, many years. So, you know, it's a luxury to, to have the summers off like my parents did because they worked as teachers. But it wasn't a luxury to watch my parents who worked so hard for this place only get cancer and get sick and never get to enjoy retirement before they died. Um, it's not fun to go back and forth to the cancer hospital with cancer, despite some of the enjoyment I did have with my father. That was, that was quite a sad experience, and I wouldn't want to, to, to have had to, to uh, miss the opportunity and the time to spend taking care of my father. Um, and I feel like, you know, there's like this kind of balance, this game in life of like, you know, making money versus spending time with your family. So now it's time for me to start with my family.